Okay, and welcome back students taking the Math for Business and Finance and Math Applications. Um, we're going to begin working on the word problems, the odd number problems that were assigned in the study guide. And uh, we're, I included here a Julian calendar because in the drill problems all I needed was to just use and visualize a number line. But for these word problems it's going to be a little bit more complicated. So I, like I said, for shorter uh, time frames I have a tendency to just visualize and use a number line um, and then just quickly add up the days but for longer periods of time I use the calendar so I've included one of and we'll bounce back and forth between them okay now um, let's see here my pen all right problem 11-9 um, before I get started this is a very similar to problem drill problem 11-7 so uh, go back and watch that one if you have to um, that'll give you a you know, pretty much the same insights or just more repetition. And if you have a question, even, you know, if you don't understand something about uh, what's there or what's here, telephone and speak with an instructor. Okay. All right. So Bill Blank signed an $8,000 note. Okay. That's principal. Citizens charge six and a half percent discount rate. That's a rate. And if the loan is 30 days, time, okay, find the proceeds, and B, find the effective rate. So remember, our formula is interest is equal to principal times rate times time, regardless of what we call it. All right, principal could be face value or proceeds. Rate can be just an interest rate or called an effective rate. And our time comes in, you know, different formats. Okay, it could be daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, whatever. Okay. So, uh, let's see here, our proceeds, okay, so our proceeds, um, we want to know, um, since they're discounting it, 6.5%, uh, we have to calculate our interest and subtract that from the uh, uh, phase value. So, we have 8,000 times 0 0 0.065, 6.5%, 6 times 300 days. Over now, I'm going to use 360 here, um, even though it doesn't tell you exact or ordinary. I'm going to use the 360 because it's just easier to use. Okay, so we multiply 8,000 times 0 0.065 times 300, and we end up with 156,000, and that's over 360 days. And when we divide that by 360, we end up with interest of $433.33. Okay. And in order to find out what our proceeds are, remember we're taking the $8,000 loan, right? And since it's discounted, that means the bank is taking out their interest up front. So we subtract the 433.33, and we end up with 7,500 and. Uh, 66.67 as our proceeds. So proceeds are equal to 7,566.67 and our interest is 433.33. Okay. Now I'm going to erase all of this. So you pause the video and rewind it uh, if you didn't get all of that. Okay, it says the effective rate charged by the bank, and we want to find out, you know, what that effective rate is. And remember, I'm not memorizing all kinds of formulas here. I'm taking the basic formula, and I know how to manipulate it. So I want to find out what the rate is, the effective rate. And in the numerator, I always just put the interest, and whatever is left over goes in the denominator, so principal times time. So our interest is in the numerator. 433.33. Our principal or our proceeds in this case of 7,566.67. Because remember, we're looking at an effective rate here, okay? Um, after we've discounted it. Right? That's why we're using the 7,566. And our time is 300 over 360. So we have to do all of the math in the denominator. So we leave our numerator at 433.33. 33. 
and we take the 756667 times 300, and we get 2270000 and one dollar, and that's over 360. And since we still have a fraction in the denominator, we continue to do the math there. So 43333, and we divide that 2270000 and one dollar by the 360, and we end up with Six thousand three hundred and five dollars and five five eight three, and we divide that into the four thirty three thirty three, and we end up with zero point zero six eight seven, right as a decimal. And we're doing this to the nearest tenth percent. So convert the decimal to a percentage. We move the decimal over two places and we get 6.87. And since we're looking at the tenths, we round up. And so we end up 6.9% is the effective rate. Okay. Remember, the reason why a bank is discounting okay, is they're getting their interest rate up front. Right? And when they do that, they also get a, a higher effective rate than if they just took um, the maturity value, you know, with the 8,000 plus the 6.5% uh, interest. Okay. Okay, so uh, let's move on to problem 1111. Uh, okay, on September 5th, Sheffield Company discounted at Sunbank a $9,000 maturity value, 120 day note, dated June 5th. Sunshine's discount rate was 9%. What proceeds did Sheffield Company receive? Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is um, we need to figure out uh, what the discount period is. Okay, so let's go back up to our Julian calendar here. And it started on September 5th. Okay, so September 5th is 248. And um, let's see here. Let me give me one second here to think about this. Okay, because the question says on September 5th, Sheffield discounted a 120 day note dated June 5th. If we look at and this is why the, the timeline is important. It says Sunshine Bank 120, 120 day note dated June 5th. So this is June 5th. 120 days is four months later, so that's 10 5. But now on September 5, it's discounting the note. Okay? Don't. Don't get this mixed up. If you went and, and uh, you know, think about what you're reading here. If you went and had said, oh, okay, 9-5, because that's the first first day in my problem, and then you went out here to June 5, and you didn't really think about it, now all of a sudden, you know, that went through December 31st, okay, and you're getting yourself pretty confused because from here to here, you know, it's almost uh, nine months, okay, even though it's only a 120-day note, all right? So, uh, be aware of um, where you're at, and that's why drawing a number line like this, you know, can help you understand. Because as I come back here, now notice when I, I went and I, on the Julian calendar, I start with the September 5th. Well, I want to know the number of days in this period. So if I start with this number, then I, I need to subtract, you know, uh, whatever number this, uh, whatever day this is, in order to be able to get the entire period. Okay, so let me go back up here, and I started on uh, 
June, I'm sorry, September 5th at 2.48, okay? And then I have to come over here to the June 5th, which is 156. So I subtract 156, and that means 92 days have passed since June 5th, okay? And if I... If it was a 120-day note and 92 days have passed, that means my discount period is 28 days, 28 days left. Okay, so uh, hopefully you followed along there. Pause, rewind, and watch it again if you did. Let me just quickly... Uh, go over that number line again. Okay. The problem says... On September 5th, so I draw September 5th here, they discounted a $9,000 120-day note dated June 5th. Well, this is June 5th, okay? 120 days, which is four months, would be 10-5 here, approximately, okay? Remember, you have... Um, I just use this as an approximation because you have 31 days um, in, a, in some of those months, so this is probably more like 10-3, actually. Um, but that's irrelevant for the moment. Okay, So it says September 5th, it discounted the note. Right? Well, if the note began here on June 5th and it ended here, okay, uh, how many days you know passed? And that was 92 days. Okay. So between there and there, that was 92 days between here and here. And that means that there's 28 days during this period, the discount period. Okay. So um, our, you know, our discount period is 28 days. And now we can uh, do the, uh, the calculations. Remember, um, interest is equal to principal times rate times time. So we have 9,000 times our rate was 9%, 0 0.09, times our 28 days over 360. Okay. Do the math, 9,000 times 0 0.09 times 28 gives me 22,680 and that's divided by 360 which gives me 63 bucks I believe yep okay and now to find out what the proceeds are okay because remember that's the interest rate right and since we're discounting, we're taking the uh, 9000 and we're subtracting the $63, and that gives us uh, $89,937 as our proceeds. Okay. Okay, I hope you uh, followed along with that. It wasn't too complicated. Again, pause, rewind, and if you have any questions, feel free to uh, you know, contact an instructor, and I'll see you in the next video.